Okay, so good, uh, good afternoon today and um, I welcome you to our session today, which is on the, uh, the uh, five months fellowship national certificate. Today is on the Sunday and uh, we are having our afternoon tea together. So I hope you have pulled your afternoon tea so that we can be able to share it together. We said, let's have our afternoon tea uh, what you take in the afternoon, please um, have it with you, so that uh, we can be uh, we can we can be able to uh, get on this um, together. So the 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 core of this session today is to be able to run through uh, what is the the, the program that is uh, is coming up, and the program will be available from July to uh, uh, to November. And uh, we are very excited about the opportunity that we have to be able to extend these and also to engage with the community uh, with on, on, on this particular program. So we'll start off with the words of our national anthem, and uh, that is the, uh, the first stanza of the Kenyan national anthem um, in Kiswahili, so that we can be able to, 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 uh, to be able to proceed. And that is our national anthem, which is E Mungu Nguvietu. And uh, so getting us rolling in uh, our national anthem. E mungu nguvu yetu, ilete baraka kwetu, haki iwengao na mlinzi, na tukai na undugu, amani na uhuru, raha, tupate na ustawi. So once again, karibu sana, and thank you for joining us. Today is on Sunday, uh, 11th, the, in, the, in the year uh, 2021, the year that the Lord has made, and we're having our session from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m., which is a session on a preview of the five months fellowship national certificate for mediation and dispute resolution professionals, and specifically for the virtual uh, personal development coaching uh, course uh, for the year 2021 for mediators in Kenya that is kicking off um, in July to November and starting off uh, in July on July 17th. So I will be uh, running through to give us um, a highlight on the entire program, um, on the entire program. And uh, after that, I will also be able to invite our, our uh, regular moderator, who is a mediator, Emerald, to be able to uh, give in uh, a few comments on the, on the program in entirety, and also especially the background history relating to uh, a part that, a segment that she has been involved with greatly, which is our uh, vision as uh, the entirety of the women community to have 10,000 plus women mediators in Kenya. So Mediator Emerald, we will invite her as, uh, as, as I conclude to be able to highlight to us on that particular uh, vision. Uh, uh, there's one flyer we have that just communicates on, on, on that particular vision. So as I said, my name is Wangari Kabiru and I convene the Wasiliana Hub community and specifically for this particular uh, fellowship, I am the, the, the lead for the, uh, for the fellowship. As the lead for the fellowship, uh, then I am uh, working very directly and very closely with um, directly. Yes, I'm, I'm working very closely with uh, the, uh, the fellowship director and also the fellowship team, including Mediator Emerald. Uh, we have Mediator Sarah and also other colleagues uh, who are uh, at the core of the, the development of the fellowship together with the fellowship coaches. So allow me to highlight what the fellowship is about. So as, as I've said, some, some, some basic uh, information is that this is a, is, 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 it's a free uh, uh, five, five month uh, fellowship that's running uh, with five uh, workshops from July to November. And uh, the workshops will be running on Saturdays at 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. monthly, meaning five workshops, one per, one per, per month. And uh, the graduation event for this particular uh, fellowship will be is actually tied to our 24-hour lead-in summit. So in November, we will be having a 24-hour summit. That is, yes, from morning until the next day. And it's where we are very excited because the, the fellows in this particular program will actually be the ones who will be speaking. They will be the moderators for this session. And we see, we see it as a great opportunity for not only growth, but also at the same time, an opportunity for engagement of um, ourselves as a community. So the, 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 let's start with first, what is the outcome that is being sought for with this particular uh, uh, fellowship on the virtual personal development coaching course that uh, is launching um, or kicking off in this July. So the, the outcome for this course is, this is part of 
um, a, a conflict transformation program that um, uh, Wasiliana ha um, has been building. And this is the foundations in, uh, this one that is particularly being offered is the foundations in conflict transformation. So there's a foundations in conflict transformation, there's the intermediate foundations in conflict transformation, and then there's a certificate in conflict transformation coaching. So in that particular design, then the foundations in conflict transformation has been offered for free to the community. Um, the, the coaches, the entire team is very excited and looking forward to because it's it's really part of the, 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 the inner of the vision of Wasiliana Hub that conflict can be transformed in this country and the mediators are the ones to do it. So the, found, the, one, the cost that is being offered is the foundations in conflict transformation. And so let's see, how does uh, the foundations for conflict transformation look like? In other words, you know, what is that, uh, what is that uh, outcome that is sought for? So the foundations is, 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 is centered on three cornerstones. So if you want to consider the, 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 African, fire, uh, the, the, the African firestones. So the first uh, firestone is uh, wellness coaching. The second firestone is practice design coaching. And then the third firestone is conflict uh, coaching. So let me go back on each of them. So the first uh, firestone is wellness. And when we talk about uh, wellness, uh, as, as, as the first uh, 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 cornerstone is because until the mediator is well, then all is not well. And that's a recognition with this, uh, with adopting uh, wellness as the first uh, cornerstone of the foundations in conflict transformation. So it's an opportunity to be able to focus on the uh, practitioner themselves. And then after the practitioner, then now the second cornerstone is now what is referred to as practice design uh, coaching, which re refers to the design of your practice, however you choose to practice it. If you choose to practice it as the only thing you're doing, or whether you choose to practice it as part of other activities that you're doing, but the core beast is that it gets clear in terms of what is the design of your practice and how to be able to approach it. I'll still go back on each of these particular areas. The third one is with regards to uh, conflict uh, coaching. And the main this is actually the main thrust of this particular program, uh, which is with regard to enabling us to have a better understanding of conflict and being able to support people who are in conflict and not just uh, uh, being persons who dish out um, agreements. Uh, the, the commitment is that this we can actually have uh, practitioners whose business is not just dishing out uh, agreements, but they have a bigger vision that they are uh, running with. So in this particular program, what you will leave is, is, is you re yourself renewed, you will have new tools um, that you can be able to use. And also you will be able to reframe how you approach uh, this particular work and also possibly other, other areas um, of your life. So the first um, area is on wellness coaching. Wellness coaching is focused on renew yourself. So in renew yourself, the highlight is on physical, well, um, physical health wellness, emotional health, emotional wellness, mental wellness, and financial wellness. So in renewing yourself, and specifically in this segment, which is the wellness coaching, the intention is that there is an inward focus to the practitioner that is on the well-being of the practitioner. So the second segment, which is on um, practice design coaching, is focused on uh, the, re the, the retooling. We went in and got certain tools so what, what tools are now needed to be able to cause this work and also to enable us to now uh, transcend, to move to just another level or another league. And so the second segment that we have, which is to retool yourself, the first segment, as I said, is renew yourself, renew yourself, and this is focused on wellness coaching. The second segment is retool yourself. Retool yourself is focused on practice design coaching and then reframe yourself is the third one, which is focused on conflict coaching. So reframe yourself is we highlights on the constructive change in your work. We are very clear that many mediators have such high commitment to their work and they would love to see the transformation that their work can do. And that is the exciting part about this particular program is because it's been designed with the recognition that we have a whole, group of mediators who have such high commitment to this work, they believe that this work can actually, you know, cause a transformation and not just uh, resolve conflicts, but cause a whole transformation even to the nation, to families, to just what the particular mediator cares for and also um, society also cares for. 
So reframe yourself, which focuses on conflict coaching, uh, will highlight on the constructive change in, 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 in your specific work as a mediator. Remember we said in the, the second part that is a focus of this work is on retool yourself. And retool yourself is about the, your practice design. So the third um, cornerstone or the third firestone that we have is on reframing yourself, which is focused on reframing your strategy and with a focus on, with a focus on conflict um, transformation so that you can be part of a bigger game. Um, we, what what we, are, we, are, we, we are large to is that, as I've said earlier, that there's a whole pool of mediators um, who have, I mean, wish for a bigger game or to see this work uh, achieving much, much more. And the, 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 the vision is that the persons who come on board for the, on this particular fellowship actually become a cohort that can actually be drivers together on that bigger mission on conflict transformation. So in essence, uh, what the, the third uh, uh, cornerstone uh, on reframe yourself will be aiming for is that your work can be part of a process of transformation. So yeah, as I said earlier, you are looking to do constructive change that your work can be part of a process of transformation that's benefiting people, the environment, and also our local economies. So in this particular segment of reframe yourself, then what the preparation you will be having is preparing your work for a vision of transformation. So your, your work is not just to just do mediation, but your work will be that you are set out for um, transformation. Excuse me. So the, when, when we are doing this, um, we now uh, look at, we look at this particular uh, fellowship as an opportunity to upskill the effective mediator. We see the effective mediator as what um, or, or we speak about the effective mediator as one who is not only just about themselves, not only just about society, or not only about the vision, but they have been able to get all this round together, they, themselves, their society that they uh, intend to serve, and also at the same time, the vision for which they are um, a stand for. And so the skills that you will live with um, as a participant in this particular uh, program, uh, which is the foundations in conflict transformation. So as I said earlier, the design of the uh, conflict, tra uh, co conflict transformation coaching, it's an entire, an entire course of which the foundations in conflict transformation is a first step and it's offered to the community, um, uh, to the community is the skills that you will be able to upskill in yourself. So the core skills is one on your wellness, which as a result of the wellness coaching, number two is on the practice design coaching. And then number three is on conflict, um, conflict coaching. So in addition to that, as you're participating in this particular program from July to November, there are also intermediate skills that you will be able to uh, be a beneficiary of. And this includes ODR skills, that's online dispute resolution skills, um, uh, critical thinking skills, uh, uh, impact, in, um, impact, focus on impact, sign language, um, introduction to sign language, media advocacy, uh, movement building coaching. So in addition to the three core areas that we will be able to be focusing on in the foundations to conflict coaching, we will also be having other inter or what you call in the intermediate skills that you will also be able to be a beneficiary of. And we believe that this will also support you or enable you to be able to um, serve much better. So let's have a look at uh, who we have as just part, just uh, to give an, 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 uh, just an indication of uh, some of the faculty that we have for this particular program. Um, we, we have um, um, additional ones who are in, in the level of coaches. And then also we, have, we do have um, mentors. So the way that the program is designed is that it's designed such that you will be able to uh, receive the mainstream program, which is hosted once a week, one, sorry, once a month, and the mainstream program is hosted once a month with, um, uh, uh, the, the, with coaches and the dates are set out and communicated is on the, like the first one is starting on July 17th. And then uh, the, 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 uh, we also have now the, for the, the, the subs in August, uh, August 21st, September is on 19th, October um, 16th. And then we have the graduation, graduation event, which as I highlighted is a 24 hour leading summit on, in November 19th into the, to the 20th. And so those are dates that now you can be able to book in yourself and be able to set yourself at 10 a.m. to 
um, to 12 noon, two hours of sharp focus, sharp focus coaching time, and then now go use the tools to be able to um, serve this world um, in, and, and as, as, you, as your skills uh, get to be um, up, up, upgraded. So in, uh, in, in just uh, uh, reminding us that uh, we, our discussion today is with regard to the five months fellowship, uh, national certificate that is for mediators and, and, and dispute resolution uh, professionals that is kicking off in July of this year, uh, the year uh, 2021, and will run on until November. And it will lead us to uh, national uh, to our 24-hour lead-in um, summit. The lead-in summit is a very strategic one because it is in the month of November, and November for us is uh, we celebrate it as the Women in Mediation Leadership Month. And so it's actually uh, the, the fellowship is a build up to that. Um, and also just to highlight that uh, on um, the, the 19th or when we normally celebrate the Women in Mediation Leadership Month official day, um, it's, uh, it's actually also the International Men's Day. So for us, it's normally a great opportunity to just tie in together. Yes, our, uh, our ambition for uh, women mediators, while at the same time also acknowledging and recognizing uh, men um, in our various circuits and also the colleagues that we do have uh, within the, 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 the mediation sphere. So that said, then um, allow me to be able to just, uh, uh, as I get uh, closer to be, to, to be able to invite uh, uh, mediator Emerald to be able to uh, highlight to us uh, on the, uh, the, 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 the vision program that, was, that is around the women in mediation leadership. So the way the program is designed is that, as I've said, Every month we have one weekend where we will be gathering together. The rest of the time we go out and now are able to, you know, go and yeah, preach the gospel, go and lead, go and execute, go and mediate. Um, so the first weekend is the introduction weekend, which is in July, coming up on July 17th uh, of this month. Then in August, the focus will be on the business weekend, more focus on the practice. Uh, the third weekend, uh, is a smart weekend. It's going to be more focused on the technology and online district resolution skills. Then uh, in October, we have the impact uh, weekend, which is focused on how uh, sustainability and uh, vision of sustainability for our practices. In November is when we will be having our integration weekend, which will, is, is when we'll now be looking at, you know, how do you build movements? How do you make this work of ours much bigger than just my own practice? How do we come together? Colleagues, when we have, we have been in discussions, and especially around the, uh, the, 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 the program on the 10,000 women mediators, there has been discussion on, oh, can women come together and, you know, form a society, associations, federations. And so we hope that these conversations will enable now the ones who are interested um, in, in, in being able to advance such that they will be able to understand how do you probably form you know, a movement that serves uh, the longevity that goes even beyond um, ourselves. So in November is also the same weekend that we'll be having the uh, graduation event day. And uh, it's uh, very exciting for us because it will actually just be uh, 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 into the month of the December when we'll be having our African International Mediation Week. And the exciting thing for us is that as we have a cohort of mediators who can be able to you know, stand out, be able to look at their practice also in different ways, be able to become speakers, be able to become writers, that is, uh, what is, uh, very, that, that is something that is very, very exciting for us. So let's see, you know, when you participate in a program, there's a couple of things that either you do, you engage in, and I hope that th those questions are actually in your mind in terms of, okay, so I sign up. So what are some of the things, what, what will be the commitment expected of me? So as I've highlighted that there are these uh, foundations in, um, uh, the foundations in uh, conflict transformation. Firstly, the, it is being offered free. The intention, the, the, what you need to do is show up for the program, participate in the weekends, participate in the discussions that are going on, learn, grow as a person and grow with um, those who are around you. So in the National Certificate uh, uh, Fellowship, uh, the specifically for this personal development course, which will be virtual. So the aim is to renew yourself, to retool yourself and to reframe your strategy. Now, in the learning section, what will be happening? So there will be five months of the National Certificate, which will have five workshops. Then in addition to that, and those five workshops are coaching workshops. It's the, the ones that I've said, yes, on, on a Saturday, 10 to 12 noon, show up, participate in the program, glean as much as you can, and yes, go and um, lead um, with it. So also in learning, 
um, uh, segment, we will also have opportunities to have mentors and the mentors will now uh, be able to be uh, with us in other sessions, which are not necessarily um, on, on the Saturday sessions. So you will, keep, you will keep receiving announcements that we have a session with a mentor on this day and you're invited and the session you will be able to participate. As, 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 as you find it uh, useful, because also sometimes there's one area someone is looking for and someone else is not looking for the other area as much. But we do encourage, or we encourage that, I mean, this is a great opportunity for us to learn. So we encourage that, you know, seek for how you can be able to tap into uh, these colleagues that we bring in, seek for how you can be able to have um, the, the, the persons who now um, come to participate with us on these particular programs, how you can be able to tap into them. Uh, someone is always able to give us something new. Um, the third element around the learning uh, section or, uh, of this is that uh, we, ha we, we have uh, the publication, uh, just give me a minute, I need to charge. Okay. Yes. Um, thank you. So the third part around learning is that we have the publication is which is uh, going to be released in November and also every other month, every month uh, during the course of this particular program, which is the ADR tomorrow uh, uh, series and uh, also audio and videos uh, segments. So during this particular period, you will also have the opportunity to be featured in it. Uh, you'll be able to have an opportunity to be uh, uh, featured in some of the video segments that will be uh, carrying out. And uh, we, these are in addition to uh, them being an opportunity for you to exchange learning with other colleagues. It's also an opportunity for you to be able to publicize yourself and also for visibility. Then we have this next segment, which is on leadership practice. So when you participate in this program, there's um, an immersion challenge. There's a challenge that we uh, include in the program in terms of, you know, go out into your community and host a public awareness session. Um, uh, as a, well, and you can do it solo or you can do it as with peers. So that's something that we, I mean, if, if you put together your family, if you put together people who are from your church, put together your neighborhood or, you know, get a, a, a community that is out there and let them know about the mediation. And that is what we um, talk about when we talk about the immersion challenge. Then in addition to that, um, this program is, 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 is building a pool of speakers for the November 24 hours uh, lead in summit. So you will also have a great opportunity to speak um, we speak in about your profession area, speak about um, an area where med and how mediation intersects and intersects with it, in speak about um, a, a, a context or a concept that you do have around mediation. Just uh, be able, it is an opportunity for, for us as practitioners to be able to uh, uh, build on or upskill ourselves in being able to step out and being able to communicate about this work, which is something that is greatly, greatly needed by many um, in, 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 in many spheres. Uh, then, um, as I've indicated, is that uh, you'll also have the opportunity to be featured in the articles. And um, as uh, we are having the features in the articles, then you know you will be able to yeah, tell us a, a bit about yourself and also tell us yeah, yeah, tell us about how you're being able to, to do your mediation work. Um, uh, how the rest of the community can also be able to tap into this. Uh, the other segment is now on the celebration and uh, uh, the celebration is a great uh, way for us to be able to you know, uh, convene after we have done uh, the whole uh, uh, five months together, uh, after we've done the whole, the, the, the whole uh, program together, then now we have the certificate award so the certificate will recognize that you have done um, 10 hours uh, that of, uh, of, 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 of this particular program. So it is an opportunity for you now to have a, a certificate that gives you uh, learning credits on continuous learning as a practitioner. But most of all also is that you yourself, you've been able to build, um, to build yourself. Uh, the other part of it uh, is uh, we have the graduation event, which is the summit itself. We are an area we are very excited. We are looking forward. Uh, to be able to have ourselves speak in a summit that we have organized ourselves as the practitioners. So we are looking forward to the, uh, the fellowship uh, uh, cohort to be able to coordinate, to organize and put together uh, this particular 
this particular um, event, which is coming up uh, in, uh, in November on 19th uh, and, and 20th. Eh? And uh, then, uh, uh, as usual, uh, with all our programs, we always give you the opportunity to make a donation if you so wish to. We have a, 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 a home, which is the beneficiary uh, of, of, um, of, of, of our programs. So if you so choose to, then you can be able to do that. And uh, we really thank the colleagues who continue, I mean, after we've done sessions and we have uh, uh, coaches, the, we have coaches or we have speakers or we have a masterclass, then they normally do actually opt to, um, or to, to let's like make a donation or to, and, and into uh, to the home. So that's just how we do encourage the community um, to be able to, yeah, let me say, give back because we have gained a lot of, gained a lot from our speakers and also from um, the work that's done by behind the scenes, by the team that is at, at Wasiena Hub and also by others who, um, some of them are not necessarily directly um, engaged with Wasiliana Hub, but they are great supporters of our work. So that's just, that, that is a, a, a background on um, the program that uh, we are here um, about, which is a five months fellowship national certificate for mediation and dispute resolution professionals. So the program that is kicking off um, in uh, July, specifically on July 17th, and it'll run on until uh, November, November 19th to 20th, once a month, on Saturday at 10 a.m. to 12 noon, it will be on Zoom Live. Um, the program is on the virtual personal development coaching, and it's a course for mediators uh, in Kenya in 2021. Uh, please share with your colleagues, and they can be able uh, to be able to join. They can be able to join this particular program. And so, as I've indicated, then the outcomes of this particular program is that uh, of this personal development coaching um, that mediators will have over the five months is that you'll be able to renew yourself. Uh, you will retool your skills, and at the same time, you'll be able to reframe your strategy. So with that, I do uh, take this opportunity to thank you for uh, listening in as I do close on uh, that segment of uh, the introduction. I'd like to invite uh, our colleague, uh, Mediator Emerald Midega. Mediator Emerald, how are you today? Fine, thank you, Mediator Wangari. Thank you so much for having me. Okay. Um, I'm very glad to be here. Uh, thank you for taking us through um, the Caribou. Caribou Thank you for Sarah. taking us through um, the, um, the the introduction, telling us what the fellowship is about, and uh, what are some of the things that you're going to be gleaning as uh, women mediators. Um, and so like any, they say a journey of a thousand miles begins with one step. And so like any other journey, this began somewhere, this began with a dream. Uh, and um, the beginning of this was the idea of the 10,000 Kenyan women plus mediators. Uh, and um, just one minute. And the goal, uh, so the Kenyan women as professional mediators agenda. And the goal was to have 10,000 Kenyan women in mediation within the year 2021 and 2022 who are inspired, empowered, and supported. And um, for, to make this goal effective or efficacious, we uh, thematic areas were created to be taken, to be um, handled or taken care of that would enable uh, this agenda to be, this goal to be achieved. And so the first thematic area was the self-development of women mediators, which was basically looking to in prove the intrinsic worth of Kenyan women mediators. And so some of the focus areas that we were, that, uh, were looked into were self-awareness of, self -awareness of um, uh, Kenyan women mediators, courage and confidence, boosting their courage and confidence, public speaking, improving their public uh, speaking, um, and improving their digital capabilities, and more importantly, um, helping them to be more aware of the importance and the need of uh, self-care on an individual uh, basis. And so the question that was being sought to be answered here was, how might we stimulate the intrinsic value of Kenyan women mediators to step out in courage that they may be, they may be equipped and confident uh, of their worth as women mediators? And so basically, by answering this question and looking at these focus areas, the idea was to improve the general intrinsic value of women mediators. And the second um, thematic area was on branding and uh, women uh, branding of women mediators. 
And here, what uh, the agenda seeks to achieve is to improve their external transactional value and <clears throat> thereby uh, ensuring that it can be monetized. The question here was to how might we package the external transactional value of Kenyan women mediators in their practice of mediation to be visible and to be able to create an impression that can be monetized. And the focus areas were individual, looking at the, um, the women med mediator as an individual, looking at her in terms of uh, practice, if she runs a practice or a farm, um, looking at the women mediators collectively, what is the kind of um, impact that they can create collectively and uh, collectively, what, how can they improve uh, their external uh, value? And then also branding in terms of high level panels. Uh, if you're interested in being in one of these high level panels, how do you brand yourself and make yourself money, uh, marketable for that? The third thematic area was on collaborative actions which uh, um, the idea behind this was looking at the shared value mm -hmm. and uh, consequently or subsequently the, the, the impact that will be created uh, by, by women mediators coming together and uh, moving and acting collectively. And the question here was how might we encourage shared value in Kenyan women mediators to gel in a, sp in a, in a spirit of collective action uh, in order to create impact? The focus areas here were um, women mediators creating self-organized cl clusters in order to be able to impact key stakeholders, uh, women mediators being uh, having self-organized cl clusters on uh, specific uh, practice areas, uh, creating chapters uh, within themselves or for themselves, having affiliations both locally and internationally, um, conflict transformation and capacity building of triage stakeholders, uh, creating movements, having movements, informal and uh, both formal and informal, such as associations, societies, projects, and initiatives. The third, the fourth thematic area was on enablers, and here we're looking at those elements that help women mediators move forward um, within their practice, whether it is individual, whether it is a practice farm, uh, whether it is uh, for those high level panels, what are these enablers that we can capitalize on um, and, and, and be able to improve your agility value. And one, one of the enablers that comes to mind, of course, is technology, uh, enabling uh, women, Kenyan women mediators to have improve on their tech, tech power. Uh, of course, when we think along these lines, we are thinking about ODR, which is um, it's a new space and it is one that we cannot uh, for, uh, negate uh, the impact that it has, the impact that technology has in how this profession is being conducted currently and will be conducted in the near future. And so the question here was, how might we enable agility in Kenyan women mediators in order for them to be competently confident to leverage on technology? So technology is just one of the enablers. Other enablers are, we're talking about financial, uh, what type of financial backing do Kenyan women mediators have? We're also talking about environment, the kind of environment that Kenyan women mediators are um, practicing in. Is it the kind of environment that will facilitate setting up a practice, an ideal practice, uh, a practice that will enable you uh, practice at your level best? Um, another enabler is support from fellow women mediators. Is Are we giving each other that kind of support that we need? Uh, a new mediator is coming in, is that mediator able to tap in and benefit from those that have gone before her uh, and uh, so that she doesn't have to start from, so to speak, ground floor when she can glean and benefit and start from fourth floor because she can benefit from the experience of those that have gone before her. We're also talking about partnerships and, and what kind of partnership can a Kenyan woman mediator um, take advantage of uh, to be able to leverage on leverage her professional her profession lever leverage her practice and, and and so on. The last um, thematic area was on collaborators and stakeholders, and here we are looking at transformational value in order to be movers and shakers within the profession. I mean, if you want to create, we know that change is 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 constant. It is a one of it is one thing that is constant, and 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 it will happen. 
So it's it's a choice whether to be you decide whether you want to be part of the change or just uh, the change happens as as you watch. And so, do we want to strategically place ourselves where we are movers and shakers within these professions, in so that we are able to impact that change, be able to have a voice within that change, and 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 enable it to and facilitate a situation where it suits us within that profession. And so here we're looking to answer the question, how might we enhance the transfor transformational value of Kenyan women mediators to strategic positioning as the movers and shakers of mediation in Kenya? So some of the stakeholders, of course, uh, the, the, the list is uh, not exhaustive. We are thinking uh, that, that some of the stakeholders here are the mediators themselves. Those are, of course, the, the, the key um, stakeholders. We're talking about the state, the, attorney, uh, the office of the AG, the attorney general, the judiciary of Kenya, um, the NCIA, Nairobi Center for International Arbitration, in religious institutions, academ academia, uh, mediation service centers, uh, county, both county governments um, and uh, local administration, uh, both county commissioners and chiefs. We're talking about the Kenya Police Service, commercial institutions, societies and associations, CBOs, which are community-based organizations, faith-based organizations, NGOs, international agencies, and we cannot forget both local here, we're talking about traditional and cultural organizations, and, and of course the Council of Elders. All these are stakeholders that um, need to be approached, reached out to, and as, in order to work together and create that kind of change that will create a profession that is ideal for everyone, and that a profession that is, is, that is able to create the kind of conflict transformation that we seek to have within our Kenyan landscape. And so with that being said, this was the background um, to, to, to creating uh, um, this uh, fellowship in order to basically empower and enable women to be able to um, practice uh, and brand themselves and be able to reach out and network and um, and, and be able to efficiently deliver within the profession. And uh, with that, I believe I've come to the end of that introduction. Um, Medita Wangari. Asante sana, Medita Emerald, for that highlight. And uh, uh, this, um, uh, the, the, the particular program that uh, overall is on the on conflict transformation coaching. Um, is a program that has been in, uh, uh, in, in our design, even as we kicked off masterclasses, uh, the effective mediator. And so uh, we'll just be coming back to Mediator Emerald so she can highlight to us about, like two or three of the coaches that we are looking at this particular program, just as part of other coaches and mentors uh, who will be uh, in this program. You can um, highlight to us about three of, uh, three of them and the others will get to know them as we are carrying on uh, with the program. So the, uh, conflict, the entirety of the conflict transformation coaching, which is the un, underpins the work that we do, and the, the program on just the development of the 10,000 women uh, mediators vision, that was some of the segments of it actually now fell in uh, very well. So we hope that as we um, uh, 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 provide it to the community, the, the five months fellowship program, it will speak into um, that particular need. So Mediator Emerald, we can come to you to highlight to us uh, on uh, about three of the coaches. And then uh, if uh, we have an, any questions we have, please feel free, you can post them in the chat. Uh, if that is a feature that you have, or um, Amidita Emerald will also be able to um, enable us to ask, uh, ask us a question as we get into the closing. Amidita Emerald, you may highlight to us kindly. Okay, thank you. Um, I must say that we have a very exciting uh, plethora of um, facilitators coming on board to support us within um, this, uh, with this fellowship. And um, so the first one we have Coach Maina Azimio, who is an experiential trainer uh, in holistic wellness and preventive health. He focuses on the four, fund, uh, four foundational dimensions of wellness, which are physical health, mental health, emotional, and uh, financial wellness, wellness. He teaches high achievers the importance of taking good care of their health, even as they work hard to produce results in their areas. He approaches wellness holistically. Uh, and so we, we, 
just as we've mentioned, when we say holistically, we're talking about all these other pillars, physical, mental, emotional, and of course, um, financial. Um, and uh, so he focuses on physical health in taking care of good, uh, taking good care of your body. Uh, the mind looks at the mind in terms of its functions in controlling the body. Um, it um, and how it chooses to, uh, it chooses what we in, in, it chooses when when we choose what we feed the body. It also affects what um, what the mind. They, they both work together, and what we feed the mind impacts the body. And yeah. So we have Coach Azimio, who will take us through the physical health and mental and emotional wellness of, um, of us as uh, Kenyan women mediators. The second, um, the second one is Mrs. Morenike Obi Farinde, who is the founder of the ODR Africa Network and a certified um, online mediator. She is a fellow of the National uh, Center for Technology and Dispute Resolution and the board member for the International Council for Online Dispute Re uh, Resolution. Morenik is also a member of the training faculty of um, Lagos, Ma the Lagos Multidoc Courthouse. He had like to mention that the Lagos uh, uh, Multidoc Courthouse is uh, uh, quote unquote the equivalent of the court annex mediation um, in Kenya. And so Maureen Nike will be taking us through the whole aspect of ODR and technology. And, um, and of course, this is a quite interesting topic, as I've mentioned before. This is something that we cannot negate the impact that it has on us. It is a wave that at some point we were saying is coming, but is here, especially in this post-pandemic world. We cannot negate the, 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 the role that technology is going to play within this profession. Um, and when we look at uh, other countries, when, when you look at other countries, some people are actually just offering these services, um, uh, ODR services, specifically ODR services, and they are able to reach out to their clients and solve disputes and resolve disputes and transform conflict just using technology and, and, and ODR. So this is also something to look out for. Uh, and lastly, we are also, bringing on board uh, Reverend Professor Peter Gishure. <clears throat> and so Reverend Peter, Reverend, Pro, uh, Reverend Professor Peter Gishure holds a, a doctorate in theology and religious studies from the Catholic University in Louvain, Belgium, and a master's in peace studies from the University of Notre Dame, USA. He is the, theolog the theological advisor of the Catholic Justice and Peace Commission in Kenya. Um, his area of research is on alleviation of poverty and sustainable development. And he is a fellowship director uh, at the, uh, for postgraduate studies at the Catholic University of East Africa. And so what Professor, Professor, Reverend Professor Peter Gishure is bringing to the table is the whole paradigm of conflict transformation. How do we um, change our perception in terms of conflict transformation? How do we look at conflict? How do we um, change? How do we resolve disputes with a different idea in terms of conflict? Do we look at conflict differently? And so that is what um, uh, Reverend Professor Peter Gishuri is bringing to the table. Uh, and yeah, that is just a brief highlight for some from some of the facilitators that will be coming on board. I hope that um, uh, excites your <laughs> taste buds and, uh, uh, and and makes you excited and 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 uh, look forward uh, makes you look forward to having to joining us during these sessions. Thank you. Asante sana mediator Emerald for that uh, highlight on uh, the the coaches for the uh, of the program um, some just some of the coaches as uh, we are also looking at uh, the entirety of the coaches and also the mentors for this particular program so ladies and gentlemen as uh, we uh, have uh, this particular session for today so today we are looking at the uh, the program that is uh, coming up um, and made available to the uh, mediation community uh, in Kenya. It's uh, it's actually a first for the mediation community in Kenya. This is a five months fellowship national certificate, which is for mediation and dispute resolution professionals. Uh, and we will be having a virtual uh, uh, virtual uh, 
uh, part of the of, of the program, which is the virtual personal development coaching, a course uh, 2021 for mediators in Kenya. And key things is that the, the outcome of this session is renew yourself. And that's why we have in the wellness coaching, retool yourself. And that is why we have the practice design coaching and reframe yourself, which is the reason why we have in this particular program, the conflict um, coaching as part of it. So the core thing is that we can be able to upskill um, as, 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 as effective mediators. And we believe that having this introductory or foundational uh, course in uh, uh, conflict transformation coaching will be a very useful tool uh, to the mediators. And it also has been able to speak into um, a number of areas which uh, started off when we hosted our first um, strategy conference and that was in 2019, December. So we've been able to put together the concepts, the thoughts, and then as we have moved into now the virtual world, also as we've hosted uh, the most recent sessions, which were focusing especially on uh, building Kenya to have um, plus 10,000 Kenyan women. So we believe that this will um, help to give the, the, the community a, a greater cementing for the ones who opt into the program. And even for the ones who do not uh, opt into the program uh, for this particular time, then they can be able to now glean in from as uh, they are able to observe uh, also from the others. So with that um, um, the highlight, uh, again, is to just indicate that uh, the, the program will be made available for official application on Tuesday. So please look out, ensure that you are uh, 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 on the Kenya Mediators uh, Network uh, WhatsApp group, that you're also receiving the emails. Uh, if you're not on the WhatsApp group or if you're not receiving the emails, then please make sure that uh, you send an email back to Asiliana Hub. Uh, sending an email back to Asiliana Hub is the email, the email you receive to join this program then you can be able to send back an email indicating, please, uh, can I get details on how to get added onto the emails that, so that you can receive the emails uh, frequently that are sent to, um, to the Kenya mediators and also to the WhatsApp group. So with that, um, I think Mediator Emerald is what I picked is uh, the question with regard to when or how someone can be able to apply to the program. And uh, that, that, that particularly said, I think it'd be interesting or great if we can be able to uh, if uh, here comments, if, if any, from uh, one or two people or anyone who has a comment on uh, what has been um, extended uh, on the program, then we can be able to close. We are uh, perfectly on time uh, to be able to um, close now. Do we have anyone with any comment or uh, in, uh, any question? As we have said that uh, this uh, segment has been recorded so that in case someone needs to, would like to listen to it again, but one of the good things that it's a very straightforward program. Show up on the specific days, which are on July 17th, uh, August 21st, September 18th, October 16th, and also November 19th, 20th weekend, which is when we are having the 24 hours lead in summit, which is a leadership summit uh, for mediators for 24 hours. Again, another fast that uh, mediators will be able to drive. So yes, colleagues, uh, any comments or any question before we can uh, uh, be able to close with uh, our national anthem? Okay. So uh, Mediator Emerald, uh, the other question that I see uh, is a question with regard to, uh, is, is this uh, individual coaching or it's a group coaching? So the entirety of this particular program is a group coaching program. And which is also what makes it very exciting because then it's a peer, it's a peer to peer uh, program. And uh, part of the um, encouragement of the Vasiliana Hub uh, community is that we can be able to connect as peers as best, as much as possible in as many uh, spaces as, as, as is possible. So this is a, a, it's a group program. And I mean, if you would like to follow up on uh, any of the areas with any of the coaches, then that is at your own discretion. It does not involve um, ourselves. Yeah, so Medita Emerald, do you, do you have any uh, closing statement before we do the national anthem from your end or any question that has come to you directly? Thank you. Thank you, Medita Wangari. Um, I don't see any question uh, from my end. Uh, I think my parting shot at this point would be um, a call, a call to us to all of us to take advantage of this opportunity. It is a rare opportunity for us to be able to um, elevate, elevate ourselves as individuals, 
um, as uh, professional mediators and, and, and basically move to the next step. Um, and so it is, uh, it, it, the, 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 the program has been paced, paced very well uh, within a span of uh, four to five months. And so this enables uh, one to glean, to internalize and to be able to put it in practice. By the time you're coming in for the second dose, you have already um, internalized what you learned previously and you're basically coming to add on to that. So this is a rare opportunity. Um, spread the word, spread the gospel and uh, let us be able to just um, hold each other's hands and be able to move forward with this. Uh, thank you. That's my last shot. And if there's no other comment, I believe we can close with the national anthem. And we'll do the national anthem, the first stanza in the first stanza in English. O God of all creation, bless this our land and nation. Justice be our shield and defender. May we dwell in unity, peace, and liberty. Plenty be found within our borders. And with that, we have come to the end. Thanks again, colleagues, for showing up, uh, for showing this interest. And uh, we hope to uh, journey with you through the fellowship. Thank you. Have a blessed Sunday and a blessed rest of your evening. Thank you. Asante sana. And yes, uh, we have a good the rest of the day and a good new week. Uh, just as a reminder that the program will be made available openly to, to register for it on Tuesday. Just look out in all the channels that you're connected with uh, Wasiana. Asante sana, Mediator Emerald, for walking us through. Asante.